friends, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Cleopatra and in today's video, I wanted to bring you guys along a day in my life and also share some of the non-negotiables I've recently been implementing into my lifestyle. I really hope that this video can motivate you guys and have you guys out, so let's just get started. So what is a non-negotiable? It is a boundary, habit, routine, or activity that you are committed to no matter what. things that you guys saw me do was clean in my room and also make my bed. I know these are really simple tasks but I feel like there are areas in which I find myself lacking quite often and one thing that I've been trying to do to make this more of a habit is I will try my best to make my bed as soon as I wake up. I do share a room with my little sister so one thing I will do is as soon as she is out of bed I will try to make my bed immediately but if for whatever reason I don't have time to make it in the morning I will try my best where the goal is to make it as soon as I get home from school or whatever activity I left the house for. Another thing in terms of cleaning my room is I like to actually schedule days in which I clean my room so I can have days where I do lighter cleaning and then days where I also have like deep cleaning where like I actually have to move my furniture out of my way uh, out of the way or like out of the position that it's in and actually clean in like all the cracks and crevices that I don't normally clean in and I tend to find a lot of dirt in those areas so I feel like implementing that type of lifestyle and actually scheduling that type of time into my routine really reminds me to not only get it done but it also makes it a consistent habit because I know when it needs to be done and it just keeps me on track but I have my laptop right here and I'm going to start time blocking and for me personally time blocking is something that I it, it has to be a non-negotiable for me I need to know what I'm doing at that specific hour in order to keep myself on track I tend to find that I get distracted really easily and I also procrastinate um, when I get stressed and I usually get stressed because I don't know what I need to do or how I'm going to get it done so this definitely helps I love using Google calendars in order for time blocking but the first thing I like to do is I like to create a list of everything that I need to get done so I'm just gonna change the heading for that so I'm just gonna call this like to do what what day is it today actually uh, February 21st so we'll just call that February 21st so what I need to get done today I have um what's it called i have some excel homework for a database called simnet s-i-m-n-e-t um simnet homework i need to get that done today what else would i like to get done i have a tiktok that i want to film for today so we'll just write tiktok filming um i'm gonna have to edit this video later today so i guess i could put editing e d editing and lastly what else i think that's ever okay i'd also like to do some health psychology homework no that's actually a lie i have a management assignment that i need to get done that i have not started so we're gonna work on that oh and then lastly see this is why i need to write things down because i keep forgetting things lastly i also have to work on my marketing research paper research paper okay so this is everything that I need to get done today and I'm in the wrong spreadsheet this is March but we're gonna go back to February so we're gonna click here it's currently one oh and I'm still filming today so I guess I could put filming so the first thing I want to get down here is I'm probably gonna work on filming a TikTok around like 1 30 just because the lighting is still the lighting in here is very nice and I also like using natural lighting so I'm gonna put tick and then we're gonna go in and one thing I really like is how you can turn each well how should I put this like you can make calendars I believe um, for each event that you need to make or you need to put into your like daily schedule or whatever so then after you can like color coordinate them so I have TikTok right there I think it's only gonna take me an hour to film it so that shouldn't take that long okay so I finished populating Google calendars and this is what my schedule looks like for the day I think for me personally one thing that I've learned from trial and error is when I'm creating a to-do list I like to have three really important things that I need to get done during that day sometimes four if I don't have a really busy day but I typically stick to three but today i am doing four because i'm not having a very busy day but um the four things that i really want to get done is filming the video that you guys are currently watching i also need to edit that as well today and then i also want to film a tiktok video work on my marketing research paper and then work on my management paper so those are like the four non-negotiable or the four like really important key things i have to get done and then i have a couple of other like minor things i have to get done throughout the day like chores around the house and all that stuff 
but I find that when I structure my to-do list or my schedule in this way, it allows me to really focus on what I need to get done and it makes sure that I don't just put a bunch of meaningless or a bunch of tasks on my to-do list that I know that I won't be able to accomplish because I tend to find when I create a really long to-do list and I maybe accomplish maybe three or four things off of that to-do list, sometimes I can feel like I'm not doing enough or I'm not working hard enough, but in reality, I'm just not creating a realistic or an effective to-do list. So I think that's one thing that has really helped. And also I really like how there's timestamps here because it reminds me when I need to get things done and when I also need to stop as well. I tend to find that I have a hard time sometimes starting things and I also have a hard time knowing when to stop. So that's why my cutoff time here is 6.30. I've been really trying to make sure that at 6.30 I just don't do any more schoolwork and I just use that time to relax, unwind, and get started or begin my night routine because I tend to find that on days where I don't have a night routine and I kind of just go to sleep whenever, I waste a lot of time and I'm not as productive or efficient with my time, so yeah. I feel like another really important thing that I like to implement into my life is continuing to learn. I always feel like the worst thing that you can do for yourself is tell yourself to stay stagnant and to not learn new skills. And I'm a firm believer that you don't need to physically be in a classroom in order to learn. I feel like we're all students of life. And I feel like in this day and age with technology and just the internet, there are so many things that you can learn. And I feel like a few things that I feel like would be good alternatives or good places to like gain information from are first and foremost podcasts. There are a plethora of different podcasts that you can listen two that are not only entertainment based but also ones that can like teach you things and like life skills and habits another great thing it, that i like to do is i like to stay up to date with current events not only things that are happening in my area locally but also on a global level as well i feel like when i'm more conscious and aware of what's happening in my surroundings and just in the world and how it directly impacts me or indirectly impacts me um just makes me more self-aware and conscious um another thing is books i love 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 reading fiction books but every now and then i will try my best to pick up a a non-fiction book and just read about something that I'm either really curious about or even self-help books and a book that I recently um, received was The Upside of Stress and this is the cover and what it looks like. I had a guest speaker come in for one of my marketing classes a couple weeks ago and as like a present or like a gift they ended up giving us some books and this was the one that I picked out. This one really caught my attention because I am taking a health psychology class right now and we are also learning about stress and the positive effects of stress. So I feel like this is really good timing and I can't wait to read this and like annotate the heck out of this book and I really hope that I learn something or pick up a couple of habits or even pieces of advice from this novel so I'm very excited to read this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I would say. Continue to learn and never stop allowing yourself to grow as a person. that I am working towards is drinking more water. I definitely do not drink enough water throughout the day, but one thing that does help is when I go to school, I always carry a water bottle with me. When I'm working on my desk, I always like to have a glass of water by my side or even my water bottle here, and I carry it with me throughout the day. And if I really, really, really am noticing that I'm not drinking enough water, I will set reminders throughout the day to actually remind myself to drink water. So there's that. So the next two things I have been practicing is taking time to myself and also self-care. I honestly feel like I'm a connoisseur when it comes to taking time to myself. Um, I love spending time by myself, I really do. And a few things that I really like doing is reading. I absolutely love reading. And I also love watching um, any sort of like TV show or movie or anything of that sort, or even journaling. I really love doing that as well. Another thing that I really like is going to the movies by myself. I've never understood why people think that that's weird. I feel like it makes sense because I feel like eating on your own in like a public setting can kind of be intimidating. Going to the movies by yourself makes sense because I feel like we can all agree the movies is like one of the very few faces where it's socially frowned upon to actually have a conversation with people and talk. So if you're sitting in a dark room with your snacks and you're enjoying the movie, I feel like that's the perfect opportunity or the perfect place to do something on your own. But um, in terms of self-care, um, I feel like my understanding and my idea of self-care has changed. Don't get me wrong, I love putting on a face mask. I love, you know, making myself like a bubble bath and using like all like the cool like Lush bath products. But at the exact same time, I feel like self-care to me now means being more self-disciplined and pushing yourself to do the things that you don't want to do, but you know you have to do. Hi friends, it is 11.30 right now. I am well aware that it is very late. I tried to go to bed early, but I kind of lost track of time while I was editing. But the last thing that I want to work on in terms of sleeping is 
obviously like trying to go to bed earlier but also tracking my sleep i recently got an apple watch and i also found out that you can track your sleep on the apple watch so i thought that that was really cool i don't have any sleeping issues that i know of i kind of just wanted to do this because i feel like it would be fun to like see and track like my sleeping patterns so i'm gonna set that up right now okay so i finished setting everything up on my apple watch um technically my iphone was actually tracking my sleep before i guess it's just that i wasn't wearing the watch to bed so my watch is fully charged or it's charged enough to last me the entire night so i'm gonna track my sleep and i'm gonna be excited to just share some of the results with you guys tomorrow so yeah hi friends it is the next day and i want to share with you guys my results from tracking my sleep last night i didn't know that you could actually track your sleep on the apple watch and i currently have the apple watch se i slept with it on all night and it was very comfortable i didn't have like any issues with it it didn't fall off my wrist or anything of that sort so now we're going to go into the sleep app. This was my first time doing this and I don't think I tracked my sleep correctly because it says specifically here that I was asleep for 17 hours and 36 minutes, which is not accurate. And I don't think that this is like averaging the sleep because it shows me how much I slept yesterday because yesterday was the 22nd, was it? No, today was the 22nd. Yeah, um, that's supposed, that's, it's supposed to say the 21st. Anyways, um, but I'm still gonna show you guys um, all like the findings and everything that I collected or the data. One thing I really find that's really cool is in the app it shows or it explains like each stage of sleep and what it means. And then on here it also shows you like how much time you spent in each stage and also a percentage of that as well. Um, it also shows you like a measurement of like your sleep goals, the time you're in bed, the time that you were asleep. And then also shows you a comparison of your heart rate, your respiratory rate, and your wrist temperature. It's also really cool because you can compare it over a day, a week, a month, and even six months. And I feel like this is definitely something that I'm going to be more interested in doing. Just just for fun, honestly. Like, I don't have a problem falling asleep or staying asleep, but I feel like because I have these resources, I kind of just want to utilize them and, I don't know, just see what I find, just for fun, I guess. In order for you to have a good sleep or, like, a good sleeping routine, I'm not saying that you need to go out and, like, buy an Apple Watch by any means. I definitely do feel like if you are having troubles sleeping, you should definitely go talk to your doctor. However, um, I feel like if you don't want to go through the hassle of getting an Apple Watch, I feel like another good alternative is just setting up a good night routine and allowing your body to have that time to try transition into sleeping and whether that's um, staying away from any electronic devices, reading, taking a shower, just preparing yourself for nighttime. I feel like that really helps as well. So that is everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. I really hope that this video motivated you guys. I hope you found it entertaining and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!